It's now an act of law after the cultural leaders' bill was passed yesterday amid the stormy scenes in parliament that was chaired by Speaker Edward Sekandi. Since it was first introduced last year, the bill has stirred revulsion among both political and cultural leaders in Buganda. An effort to try and table a minority report against the bill by opposition lawmakers from Buganda was defeated yesterday, barely after it was introduced. Reacting to the new law today, Buganda's Information Minister Charles Peter Maiga said there was no way it would change the attitude of the Buganda towards culture. What Parliament does cannot, at the end of the day, affect the evolution of culture. He also told NTV Mengo is planning to petition the Constitutional Court to challenge its legality. We do not think government will have a moment to implement this law. Take this matter to the Constitutional Court in due course for proper interpretation of the Constitution as regards Article 246. However, Toro, one of the big kingdoms in the country, has welcomed the passing of the bill. It is a good law. And if at any time there is a law or a section of that law that the people of Uganda feel is inappropriate, there is room to review the law. Away from the kingdoms, the Citizens' Coalition for Electoral Democracy in Uganda has condemned the manner in which the Cultural Leaders Act was passed. We are also concerned that that law has a number of human rights implications, mainly focusing on the freedom of expression, association and assembly, and the whole question of the right to participate in governance. We think that this law, in a way, continues to narrow the enjoyment of these rights. On Monday, the Archbishop of the Orthodox Church, Yona Rwanga, speaking on behalf of the Interreligious Council, warned of the consequences of passing the bill in a rush. For now, all eyes will be on Buganda and what it does next regarding the new law that it sees as directly targeted at the Kabaka of Buganda. Maurice Chol, NTV Tonight.